Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. Um, first things first, let's have a look at these bees again. And today of course we're going to try and it's very going to be a very dangerous day today. I've got to be honest with you. So we've got pristine forest princesses. Did I bring my thing with me? No, it's, I know where it is. So let's go and get the, the analyzer. I've put it over here. Keep it out of the way. For, oh, ooh, that's a big jump. <laughs> it's the, um, the rope I'm jumping over. Yes, we've got the analyzer. So I need to analyze this. Basically, if we've got any chance of getting a common bee at all. So let's have a look. So this is still a forest and a meadows hybrid. And so is this one. And so is this one. So I'm not doing too well with that one. So we'll put those back. I'll put those drains into there. And we're going to take, uh, I think it's probably a good idea if we get a, what we're going to get this time. So forest meadows, I think I'll take a, a meadows prince, a, a meadows drone for this one. Just one of those will do. So that's a pure meadows drone. So we can then try that again and put the other two bees in there here. So that with the pure meadows, I think. Uh, oh yeah, that's okay, that's fine. I've got one in already. <laughs> okay, so we'll put these, these bees into this chest as a first generation. Here, I think I lost the first one on that one. And the same is, let's look at these four over here. So you've got a pure forest. Okay, so we'll just need that with the, with the Meadows Princess and see what have we got in here. Again, a pure forest. I don't know how many you can see. Oh, that's okay. So there are three of these are pure forests. So we'll try that again. I like that. And then we'll put these three in the next next iteration of the chest here. This, uh, I don't think any of them will actually go together. So there we are. So the next thing I want to look at was the food. I said about talked about oiled food, didn't I? So this is just an ordinary grape. Let's have a look at that one. And this is an oiled grape. So when you look at this in here on your hot bar, so it says it takes me up what one and a half health points and a half a saturation point. And this one says the same thing. Now the interesting thing here is if I actually eat this one, let me double check that's the right one. Oiled or yep. It doesn't do this, watch what happens. You see, it jumps right. I think it jumped right up, didn't it? This is the one and a half. I think it went up by, <laughs> how do you know? Because <laughs> I had it in, this one popped into my hand, it confused me a bit, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we got double the health. In fact, let's, let's try that again. In fact, let's get another jar of olive oil and from the right place, of course. Which is here. I need a glass jar. Wish I can right click under the oil of oil and then we can mix this one into that. It's easier to see with this because of course because if this has worked we're gonna get more than the one and a half it says it's going to get. So let's eat that one. And as you can see, it's completely filled it in. So it did definitely work, just it's a bit sort of strange. So now we're gonna go over and start with the ocean monument i think i've got everything i need i've got a list here of things i need i'm not sure it's all it's all up to date jack-o-lanterns i haven't got there is something else that i didn't put down here which was tnt and a flint which we've already got a flint and steel So hopefully we have everything that we'll need with us. I'll, I'll take, I'll keep that with me today. I think we've got some wood because it's always good to have a little bit of wood. And I've got some TNT here. You'll see why that's necessary. Hopefully, because I've got my um, my shuriken, it makes life a bit easier anyway. So what am I wearing today? Right, I'll put my helmet on. <laughs> I don't need my helmet, but we'll drink. We'll drink something as well. We're right here. And I think that's everything we need. I don't want the bee, the bee alizer. Let's leave the bee alizer back in the forestry chest here. So for the, for the, I will probably won't do bees next episode. You'll probably be thankful for that. But uh, unless we get something special, because we will be at the Ocean Monument, I think, for the rest of the summer time. And it is just in the beginning of summer now, as you can see from the, the season sensor. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make a season sensor. Let's look at doing that one before I forget. Let's 
a season clock. In fact, that's actually what we want. In fact, that's what we don't need a sensor. We just need the clock because we're never sure exactly what time of this. So we actually can have that. Put it in Put that in our offhand. We can see it all the time. Um, right, I think I'm ready. Let's just. Uh, yeah, I'll take this empty jar with me as well because that's always useful to have with you. Because if you get thirsty, I mean, we should we can then simply eat and drink. Food, I have got one apple. Uh, but I shouldn't need too much food because I'm going to be killing some guardians, hopefully, at the same time as not getting killed. So i see you in a few seconds when I'm back over the other side. Right. Here we are. So I tidied this up a bit, as you can see. I basically put the, the, the items at the back now instead of moving them to the front. So the front is over here. And I put some ladders down there just so if it gets stuck in the water, I've got somewhere I can actually get out of. So the first thing we need to do now is get some sand. I'll put this I put the stuff I've got on me away. Almost all of it, I think. We'll put it all away. Because what we want is the minimum of stuff that we actually need. So I need a pickaxe. We need some we'll take the TNT with us. We'll take some drinks with us. We don't need the bed. And I have brought a bed and I'm going to sleep in that the first opportunity can we get because if I die then I'll get respawned here which should be better than going back and having to travel through the nether each time. Um, so I would like some night vision. I'll take one of those with us. I'll probably take some regeneration for that. I mean, we need some milk. We need at least three milk. Probably on the safe so we'll take four. We need, we need some ladders and we need some doors. Um, where's the flint and steel? There's a flint and steel, but I've got one in this one as well. Let's put this list down so we're somewhere we can actually see it. How about on, on the side of the here? So, doors, ladders, milk, sand. Yes, I need some sand and I need some cobblestone. Did I write those down? No, I didn't, did I? Heating I brought here, so I can actually tick that off the list. So let's just pick this up again. I can't pick it up, of course, now with it, with this in my offhand. I've got to remove it, and I can shift right click this together now. So we've got night vision with the heating wood, jack o' lanterns. Now I should have some jack o' lanterns in one of these chests. I hope. Otherwise, I've got yeah, 48. It should be enough. In fact, let's just take half of those for the time being, in case we. We die, and I don't want to keep going running backwards and forwards to get this stuff, so I'll put that in here. What else do we need? Some apples. This is the region for the other one, but it's not as strong as this one. This is 45, and this is two minutes. I think actually one should do. Is that everything that we need? Doors. Ladders, milk, sand, night vision. Jack of lanterns. Let's put that down again. I need to actually right click it. I don't know. Let's change pages. Flint and steel and TNT. So I won't take all the TNT with us. We'll only need probably four at the most, I think, in fact. So we'll just take four at the most. Leave the other ten in there. So let's put those in this chest. Now it's coming to night time, so I can sleep here. So we'll do that while, while we're thinking about it. So that that's resets my spawn point, and then in the morning we're ready to go. Good, ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do, I need some slabs as well. I haven't got those with me. I've got some 38 slabs. That should be enough for what we want to do. I want to basically put a ring around this pickaxe da, da, da. Right, I think we've got everything we want so now we're going to go towards the monument and I think I'll clean up my hot bar as well before we get there and the idea is to build a ring around this monument so what I'm going to do first of all so I'm going to put down seven blocks here because I want to make sure that uh, it just lands onto that space there, so we can actually build a, a ring around the monument. So what I'm going to do first of all, I haven't got enough sand to do all of this. Seven. 
and that should just about let the water come up so I have to hold down the shift and go back a bit that's in my hand of course so we drop down seven if I can I'm not right place up oh maybe you have to put one block at the side here to do this I should be able to drop your seven sand down right here. So they just sit outside the water like that. And then we can actually build this, this platform across to where we actually need it to be, which in fact is one more block along here. And then we'll drop this five blocks of sand down here. I think it's five. It basically brings us up to where we are. Uh, of course, I can't do it until I've got the, to put this one across. And this is going to be a pillar up to this point. Oops, that ain't very good. So that should be... I think that's the same block as this one. I'm not exactly sure whether that's going to link... No, I'm one block short. Never mind, I'll just do it like that. Put up stone. <laughs> so this is my escape point. Unfortunately, I've put some sand down here, so I'll have to get rid of that at some stage or other. So now we go round this. In fact, I can actually get round this like this. That's no big deal. So we can then put a ring of slabs around here. Uh, yes, that's going to be a bit awkward. Oh, I'm about to do it this way because I need to put another block of ring. Some more sand down here. Let's do that. So I need another seven pieces of sand. Anyway, I backed up just in case before I started doing the recording today. See, I missed it by one block there. And that just sits out of the water. So the hard one to do is the one below it. <laughs> I don't know where I can actually reach that one. Uh, no, I can't from here. And it, you'd have to get around through this one here. Maybe I can reach it from this point. No, I can't. Well, I need to just put it down there. So either I've got to spend a lot of time bashing away at this thing until we actually get it right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's put... We can always do that later on. The idea is to actually get a little safe bit. So what I'm doing now is building a ring identical to what we see below us. So that's this one here. And these are four blocks by four. Oh, now I can actually reach this. Oh, I can't reach from here, can I? I can reach it on the other side. Maybe I can reach it from here. No, I can't. I want to basically put as a block in the middle. Oh, maybe I can. Let's try. Will that go in? Which side does that go into? And that'll be in the wrong place. No on. I was uh, uncareless, which is bad. I should really reverse, but you know. So that should be now a ring that's a copy of the of the ring blowers. And what you do and what you do with the sand is you basically put it on the sides here. So we need another seven blocks of sand in here. So it forms a, a ring around it. Of course I've got to be back a bit, I can't do it exactly on top. I'm still in the wrong place. One more. And it, because it just comes out of the water. And we end up building a ring around this. What is good about this? I can't do it from there. Can I have to do it from here, don't I? Is it gives you a little bit of protection? But I really would like to finish this off, but. Tell you what, I'll come back in a short while when I've um, put the ring around this. I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, I'm back. I've broken away that piece of sand and the uh, piece of wood so I can finish this ring of uh, sand below here. So we've got seven pieces all the way around. I hope so that we have a little bit of wall. So if I get into trouble, I can jump into this bit of water here. And hopefully there aren't too many guardians in there. That's the idea.
whether it's in practice that actually works or not I don't know so what we have to do now so we have to go forward by six blocks from this point here so what I'm doing is on the front corner there and I don't think it really matters which which side you start on that way or that way what matters next is where we actually end up so we'll go down let's go put your six blocks down hopefully I don't misclick now now what we do is we put 15 blocks in this case we're going to go to our left facing this direction here which in fact is west I don't think I've actually got enough blocks of um, I think I'm short of a few blocks of slabs that should to be honest with you I should think I need about another four so we go down 15 blocks let's hold it a bit faster two more blocks and what we actually then have to do is put a a block on the corner here so it faces forwards I think I'll be all right doing it there we need some more blocks I need another four blocks for that tell you what I'll just go and get those come back in a second right I'm back so I'm going to put this these slabs down here which so what we need to form is this C shape here then we need to get two blocks there so it's got a bit of a wall and actually now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drink the night vision so we can see where we're going what's happening and the second one we're going to do exactly the opposite we're going to go back that way but we're going to go back from the if you went brought it forward six blocks you'd go back another 15 but well therefore we have to go back 18 but that's another time so now we're going to drink as a night vision and then we should be able to see this much better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be falling down here and the biggest problem that i've got is that the technique that uh, or the tactic that uh, nathan ryan used was to use uh, sand and um, sugar cane to hide in but that doesn't work for us so what we're going to do now is put down three blocks of sand down here like this and this is basically going to be the where we're going to land and you see where, where we're going to go is that bit there that's the idea I've got to go forward there and put that down a door and some cobblestone we need to get the doors prepared. I don't need the sand, I don't think. I've finished with that wall. Get this one in the way. And a door. I think we'll just do it like this to keep things cl clean and tidy for today. So. I think this is it. I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. Uh, I should put down one of these as well on one of these two places so let's just drop down there and see how we get on there's a, there's a guardian just in the way that's a bit bad but never mind so I want to put one of those on here like that and the cobblestone on here like this and I'm going to get attacked by two guardians at times which is not great ha so what I want to do now is drop into this gap here and put a door down like this and then I can put on top of this a cobblestone Right, right, phew, made it. <laughs> now, oh, there is, there should be another door here. So let's put this other door down here like this. And that should make the gap. So the, that door really should have gone on this side here, but I'm going to probably do is to open this door and put one down on the other side of that, like that, I think. Oh no, that's right, the right way around. You always, I'm not, I do have trouble with doors anyway. So let's get some regen going now. Um, actually, we're not too bad. We'll take the 45 second regen I was expecting it to be worse than that so what we've got to now do is drink some milk and dig a hole so what I need is I need this this don't need those with us we need milk and we need a pickaxe so next time we get regeneration uh mining fatigue God. so if I look at the, the clock now we've got 20, two minutes of mining fatigue so I've got to wait here two minutes before this will actually get attacked again or get mining fatigue again and when I get mining fatigue again then I'm going to drop down and put some doors down uh, drink the milk 
knock a hole in the ground and drop down. And if I fail, then I've got another minute before that one happens. But there's three guard, three elder guardians, each minute they do it. So we wait till that's actually happened. So two minutes, and I'll see you in a few seconds when it's when we're ready. Right, we're just about ready. So let's get the milk in our hand here. And as soon as we get attacked again, which will be any second now, we'll drink the milk and go down one. And then we'll get the doors ready. Hmm. Taking its time, getting me the mining fatigue. In fact, you can actually see the Elder Guardians on the mini map there, just behind me. Twenty-four seconds. Because they do it on the hour, on the minute. I'm surprised about this, taking longer than I was expecting it to do. Right, there we go. So now we can drink the milk. Takes away the mining fatigue. Drop down here. And of course I would have to get some guardians. Let's place these doors as quickly as I can. Because that will give me some protection. There we go. Right. That's the protection bit we need. Now we need to... Oh, we actually have, don't need to put any cobblestone above it. Sometimes you do. So now... The Elder Guardian's in one of these two rooms, and I can see him over there. So which one have we got? I think we're in the... Ah, oh yes, we're in the pillar room, aren't we? Yes, we are in the pillar room. So, so what we now have to do is to get rid of some of these guys here. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a TNT and get rid of them that way. What I should really be doing is putting down doors. So let's open the door, put the TNT down here, and then light it and close the door and it won't affect me too much but it should give them a nice big bang like that in fact I think that killed that one there didn't it so in fact if he's still getting in the way I'm going to do it like this get him out of the way so we can then put some doors down here like this we need four doors around here and then doors at the end of this and then we should be able to put some cobblestone on top of our heads here to keep us safe from overhead attack so now we've got a bit more space to work i think that's correct so now let's have a look where this old, the guardian is he's probably disappeared now it's getting dark because i might i think my uh, night vision has disappeared which it has so what we have to do next is we have to drop down here i think is where i want to just double check i can put the door down here no i can't so you get attacked like that <laughs> and when you get attacked you can see that the, the beams just about see the beams anyway. Cool, they're all over the place, aren't they? Where's that, where's that door gone to? You see, it breaks off. <laughs> so I should be in air at the moment. So I've got pockets. Oh, there we are. Oh, yes, of course, of course, I've got my helmet on. That's the, that's the problem. Now, why have I not got more space here? How many doors have I got? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to drop... I'm not sure I've gone down far enough on this thing here. Let's see if we can put another door down here. Should get should cut another air pocket, which is what he's done here. Oops, there's one over there attacking me straight away. Let's close that off. Ha! This is quite a hard challenge, I have to be honest. And then go that way, somebody's attacking me from that direction. <laughs> So, I'm a bit stuck at the moment. <laughs> I'll come back in a few minutes when I've had a think. Right, I've had a think. What I've got to do is basically drop down and put some more doors below this. So let's just see if we can do that. Oh, he's under there. That's probably part of the problem. Let's put some doors down here. See if we can block ourselves in safely. Um, unfortunately, I can't get one above my head very easily. Or maybe I can. Let's try that. Like that. So, we're reasonably safe in here. And I've got some air. So... The Elder Guardian is over there, right underneath the platform, which makes life a bit tricky, but can I see him from here? Oh, yes, I can look. Now, I can open this door, and I can shoot him with my thing. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's not an Elder Guardian. That's just a Guardian. There he is. That's another one. We could shoot them with this shuriken. Now, somebody's trying to attack me. We just break it off the attack with closing the door. Now, where's that Guardian gone to? Oops, wrong 
wrong. <laughs> Got to make sure you open the right, close the right door. So I want to put down another lantern down here, so we can stand the chance of seeing. But there are a lot of guardians around, as you can see. In fact, I think there are a lot more guardians in this, in what I'm doing, than there were in the previous. Who are you? Of course, I've got regen on my thing, so that it helps me a bit. You can see them. There's right over there. That's one of the guardians. What I have to do is I'll have to basically make my way out of it with some doors, I think. So what's happened here? What have I just picked up? Some fish, I think. So I must have killed a, I must have killed a guardian. Where's that gone? Oh, he's over there. I think he's over there. Let's see if we can put some doors down here. What I really want to do is put the doors down this side here. Now I don't see where the El Elder Guardian's gone to. Hmm. I've got to basically find him again. And I've got to trap him away, but I don't see where he is. I can get rid of these guys easily enough. They're not too bad. Oops. Without taking too many hits, like I just did. So somebody's trying to shoot me from up there. So I move back here. I'm, all, I'm safe, I think. I need to keep these doors closed. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's see if we can block this roof off a bit here. Make sure we've got some space above us which is protected. Like that one isn't protected. It is now though. Oh, it was, should be. Oh, look, that one there. Now that's the Elder Guardian there. I can see him. Now, where's he gone to? Or did I kill him? Let's get rid of this stuff from my inventory here so I can see what I'm doing. Oops, that side. Let's put another couple of stone on my head here. Somebody is over, and I can't see. That's the trouble. Close the door. Right, taking a bit of a hit here. I better eat something or regen. Let's regen a bit. I should have put some more night vision, shouldn't I? That won't do much good, will it? Move that out of the way. Now I think the Elder Guardian is down here, but it's hard to see. So let's just get another lantern to place over there. Somebody's shooting me from over there. Let's shoot him back. I don't hear any hits from them. That's the trouble. Oh! Well, there's one here. Let's get rid of him. My night vision is awful, I can't see a thing that's a trouble. Or a trouble. Because if you get, when you get wet, you get very cold as well. That's also a bit of a nuisance. Now, where has he gone to? Was he already dead? That's the other question. I certainly haven't picked up his sponge. Somebody's shooting me from over there. Just close the door. You don't get very good range with this, that's the trouble, and I... You can't hardly even see past the, the lantern there. Let's 
let's get some doors in place here. Oops. And a block above my head. Maybe another door on top of this one. Well, there's one over there. Ah, oh, there he is. Look, I can see him now. So he's. But I don't exactly know where he is. <laughs> it's so funny when they do that, aren't they? I think he might be above my head now. Where has he gone to? I'm sorry, I probably should sort of cut this short, shouldn't I? You see, in the water is no good because you get too cold. I think this is it. What I might have to do is to go back up up to the top and uh, get back into my little hubby hole. Let's do that. Oh, no, I can't do that there. Hopefully, there he is. Oh, got him. Great. Where is this thing? Hopefully I've got it. Go away you. There's my little cubby hole here. Got it. Oh, did I pick up? Yes, I got it. The wet sponge. Whoa, that was hard work, I can tell you. So now we've got to get out of this place. <laughs> now there is, where did I come in? Not that side, huh? Hopefully I haven't blocked everything off. All right, so here's the way out. Look, there's my lantern there getting out of the way. What I need to do is put a block here. And there should be some sand up here. So I need to put some ladders. Let's get out of this because somebody's shooting me. I need one ladder. What we need to do if you want a slick way of doing this, don't watch my video, watch Nathan's, because it did it really well. We just go up onto this one, swim onto this one here, and then we can stand on the top of it like that. So we can stand on top of ladders. And here, unfortunately, I put a second block in the way, which makes life a bit difficult. But what we need to do now is we need to get some sand ready. And we just basically pillar up till we get to level 68. Of course, this isn't that easy to do. <laughs> So what I want to do is put it on that pillar there, I think, like that, and then just go up. And we just keep going up until we get right to the water. Now, you can't do the last block. You've got to put it on like this and then go up, and then you can do it that way. And I should be 68. Yes, I am good. So now all they need to do is get across to that one. Put the slab on this one and we're back safely out of range no damage done we've got but we've got the sponge so let's go and take the sponge back with us now it's raining so i'm going to get cold and they're going to have to remember doing more night vision with me next time because <laughs> that was very stressful so what i did here is i built a little platform underneath this so I don't get wet when it's raining as it is now so let's get the sponge into my hand here so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it it's been interesting <laughs> so until next time when we're going to do the next pillar I wish you all the best bye for now